Caveman's back with another Ground Force Fights interview. By now you know the spiel. June 15th, five days away. Five days! Get your tickets now. Groundforcefights.com Make sure you're getting your tickets from them. Put down your fighter's name. June 15th, Batavia Downs Casino. It's going to be lit. Today I'm going to have on Nikoya Sethi. Nikoya is a tough fighter. I've actually had him on my podcast, Caveman's Corner, uh, for the last Ground Force fights. Veteran of the game. Got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to give him a call and see what he's been up to. Hello. Hey, Nikoya, how's it going, man? You got the Caveman. What's up, Caveman? How you doing, brother? Good, man. How you feeling? So great. First, I just wanted to tell you, man, congratulations, brother. Oh, congratulations th- on the black belt. Thanks, I man. You got your black belt a little bit of time ago. Yeah, hard work. Hard work pays off. Hard work, <laughs> man. I know you finished that journey. Now you're on your new journey as a black belt. You know, it's amazing, man. Yeah, I'm loving it, man. It's good times. Amazing. Oh, congratulations on your on your gym. You opened up a new gym, didn't you? Yeah, Integrity Martial Arts, studio? man. Yeah. I'm only there Sundays, man, but you should come check it out sometime. Oh, I love to when I come over to space. I love to. Yeah. After your fight, you come train. Yeah, maybe. If I don't leave, I don't. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, for sure. um, I'm doing good, though. I'm doing good. I'm I'm ready to go. And, um, yeah, I don't know anything really about this guy. Oh, just to be fair, I, I actually train with this guy, so uh, he's at my gym. So I wanted that to be like up front right off the bat. But uh, did you listen to his interview? Uh, I listened to a little, a little bit of it. Yeah, he's got a neck tattoo. Does that scare you? He's got a what? He's got a neck tattoo. He's got a tattoo on his neck. He's got a neck tattoo. Yeah, that scares oh, me a little yeah, bit. He's a gangster, huh? Yeah. He's a gangster. He's a little bit short, though, so <laughs> you might have to look hard to see it. Okay. Yeah, he looks like he, he's fought two guys that I know. Uh-huh. I know Alex. I know Alex. I fought in the same shows as him a couple of times, and I know the guy he fought. I think is Andrew. I think I met him before, or like I heard about him before. I heard he's a very good wrestler, good jujitsu guy. Yeah, Andrew is or our our guy is. Andrew is. Yeah, Andrew yeah. Is. yeah, yeah. Um, Canelli, I think his name is. Cool. Yeah, I mean, uh. <laughs> Gomez hasn't fought since you know they started having uh, digital recording. He probably hasn't fought since they have VCR recording. So <laughs> oh, no. it's been a oh, while. Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know that's how it is. You know, you want to get it. You want to get back into it, and you, you still got that youth and athleticism, and you got the time to train and all power to him. You know, congratulations to him for getting back in the gym and you know living the dream. For sure, man. He's uh he hasn't been very active. You've been pretty active, man. You've been fighting a lot lately. Do you think that plays uh gives you an advantage or do you think it doesn't really matter too much? Um I mean I wanna say yeah, but at the same time I don't think it matters that much because it's just the fighter, every fighter is different. Some fighters they can just go on it, go on it. Some guys hear the bell they don't you know, train really hard or some guys they don't even really spend that much time in the gym, they just hear the bell and they can go. Some guys they hear the bell and they're fully trained and, you know, they've done hard training and they're skilled in different disciplines and they hear the bell and it's just like, I know because it happens to me sometimes, like, I'll be in the cage fighting and I'm not even thinking about the fight. Like, my last fight, I'm getting punched up against the cage and I'm not even thinking about it. My mind's so much totally different. What, what do you think you know, about? You just, some, sometimes you lose focus and I have a big problem with, um, losing focus, you know, like, and adversity is something I had to learn to deal with. So I haven't been allowed to fight by my coaches. I haven't been allowed to fight. I'm a grown man and I haven't been allowed to do something. Wow. How does that so feel? It, I, um, you know, it feels really good because I dealt with the issues that I've had and I feel really happy because now they're allowing me to fight. They want me to fight, you know, so I feel really happy about that. Um, I like the opponent that I don't know anything about him. You know, I like that feeling, and I like Rich, um, the the promoter, which you for having me on the show. So I'll talk to you. Yeah, it's so, Rich is a great guy, man. He's uh, one of the best promoters I know. He always takes care of his fighters the best that he can, and you know, putting a good show together. I think. Yeah, and he's been trying to get me to fight on shows and got me good matchups, 
And I just, I wanted to take the fights, but I just hadn't been committing to it a lot. And like I said, I wasn't even allowed to fight because I'm not committing and like really committing and being in the gym and my team being able to see me develop. And it's just, it is what it is, you know? Like, so it sounds like June 15th, we're going to see the best Nikoya uh, we've ever seen. Yeah, I believe so. I know so. And um, I'm really proud to get a chance to um, compete and really happy to get this chance to compete because it's a privilege. I have a privilege. It might not seem like it is. Oh, you're going to go fight. But it's actually a privilege to go on, on the stage, to make weight and weigh in. I mean, we're fighting at 135, right? Yeah. Yeah, 135. So I, I don't have no problems with promoters with making weight. I've never had problems with making weight. I'm going to make weight fine. I don't know if this guy is going to make weight. I looked at, he's never fought at 135 from what I've seen on Topology. Uh, he's so, a really short, man. I think, uh, I, I don't think he's going to have too much trouble making weight. He, he was a little chubby when he came in, but he's in shape now, man. Uh, he looks good. I think, I think he's probably going to make weight. I can't ever speak for anybody, but you know, um, any guy that fights with me, I, it's a big thing for me that they make weight, you know? Like, I think that's part of yeah. what a fighter should do. Yeah, and I know you're a professional fighter, you're a professional athlete, you're a black belt in jiu-jitsu, you carry yourself with a, with a lot of dignity. When I met you, you're a very cool guy. So I know you're not going to let someone fight on the card who um, you feel is not ready to go, or maybe, you know, you, maybe they're not ready to go that much, but they have the heart. Yeah, you know, kid, some guys are not really ready to go, but they have the heart. Maybe you feel he has the heart. He's a ginger, so he might not have a lot of soul, but he's got a lot of heart, man. So it's going to be a good fight. <laughs> yeah, it should be good, man. I mean, it should be good. Or it might be just him getting his face smashed a lot. <laughs> so, you know, like, I don't know the, cal the caliber of fighters. You've seen the caliber of fighters I've been in the cage with. Been in there with killers, man. Yeah, no I haven't, I've it. never fought, I fought one sh one guy who who was like a like you know a nobody, and I got I won you know what I mean. But I have I have always been fighting top guys. I fight one fifty five with a week's notice, and I'm one thirty five. You know I I fought um, the one thirty five champ at Cage Wars on a week's notice. I fought Deshaun and Guam for fights. You guys, the, the fight changed on a week's notice, and I gave the Gabriel Whitman. And I didn't even want to fight Deshaun because I knew my style was not good. I wasn't training a lot of wrestling to be able to combat his style. Right. But it's good enough to be Whitman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, Whitman ain't, don't exist no more, right? I, no, he's a, he's actually turned himself around, man. He's doing roofing stuff, and he's doing a really good job with whatever he's doing. Yeah. Uh, like he's, It's not really roofing. It's, it's some bronze work stuff. And, dude, he's turned himself around. He's... Got a beautiful girlfriend, or I, I'm pretty sure they're engaged. And dude, he's doing a lot That's better, great. man. He's a different person. He hasn't been doing, going crazy online. So, like all the hate I'm giving on Whitman, I was just joking, man. Like he's, I'm proud of what he's he's done with himself. That's good, man. That's that's great. I mean, that's great. So, but I, all those situations I've been through, and it's like I never pulled up the fight. You know, I had one situation where I was in New York. I think it was my second fight. And I got really sick from food poisoning and I actually threw up, like, walking to the cage. And that's the only time I never fought. You know, I couldn't fight. So It sounds like it's a good thing that your coaches are looking out for you and um, trying to get your record better, man, because it sounds like you don't have a lot. You don't care. You just get in there and fight. And uh, sometimes you need to protect a fighter from himself and you need to get a little bit better matchups or at least some time to train. Because if, like you said, you're not in the, exactly. in the gym training, dude, and you're taking a fight on a week notice, you can't get in shape in a week. There's no way. No, nah, and you're mentally not prepared, too, because your nervous system is not ready to go. You know, you got to be ready to go. So um, I'm not going to try to hold up your time too much, though. It was really good talking to you. Uh, again, congratulations, man, on the, on the black belt and your school. Hope all the best for you, brother. All right, man, before I let you get out of here, I get two questions out of you. Number one, what's your prediction for the fight? I'm going to win. Any prediction on how? I'm going to win. <laughs> I like it. Someday someone's going to say pain like Mr. T, and I'll be super proud of it. And number two, <laughs> do you have any sponsors to plug, man? Um, Fight Bikes is one of my sponsors, but I don't even know if the company still exists. <laughs> but I want to send some shout-outs right now real quick. Uh, go for it, man. If you don't mind. No, go for shout it. Shout-outs to 
Batavia, New York, where I'm coming to fight. Shout out to Ground Force Fights. Shout out to the Toronto Raptors right now playing in the championship game. Let's oh, go, Raptors. Man. Let's go. <laughs> uh, shout out to AST MMA. See the Serpent Lao. Yeah, see Lao. The Cobra Bagatina. See Lao. Yeah, see Lao. My brother, get me ready. A lot of people don't remember Sabir the Cobra Bagatina, but Sabir the Cobra Bagatina, shout out to him, my brother. Shout out to my Jiu Jitsu coach, Ian Fremantle, and his Jiu Jitsu coach, Robert Drysdale. Shout out to Toronto Noki Jiu Jitsu, Robert Drysdale Jiu Jitsu. Shout out to all those people. Thank you very much for having me, Jeff, and um, I'll see you in a couple of days. All right? I got one more question, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're fighting out of the DD's Ranch Court. I got to put my sponsor plug in. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> You're no fighting problem. out of the DD's Ranch Corner. Do you have an AR-15? That's a gun, if you don't know. Do I have, a, do I have an AR-15? Yes. No, I live in Toronto. I live in Toronto. I got no AR-15. <laughs> well, if you need an AR-15, check out DD's Ranch. I'm sorry. I just got a plug I got to put in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe if I come. Do they have a shooting range? Maybe I'll come try out some guns and shoot up the shooting range. There's a shooting range right next door to my gym, man. So if you come check out my gym. Oh. We'll get you an AR-15 okay. from Dee Dee's Ranch, and we'll shoot it up. <laughs> okay. All right, man. Okay. Cool. Thank you once again, Caveman Dan. Thank you, I'll man. See you later, I'll brother. see you at the Wayans, brother. I miss you. All right. All right. All right, brother. Bye-bye. Peace.